Hey Betaways, welcome back to another vlog. It's me, Andrea. This is actually officially the first vlog of 2022. Honestly, I don't even know if this is going to be... Yes, it's going to be a vlog. I'm going to make it a vlog. So this is going to be officially the first vlog of 2022. I know you guys saw the other videos and things that I was posting, but as the description read, those are content dumps. So it was honestly just a bunch of content and stuff that I had that I'm thinking to myself, you know what, I don't wanna have wasted my time collecting this content. So let me just go ahead and edit it into a few vlogs and post it. And so that's what I did. I did want all of it posted before the New Year's, but I was having some technical difficulties. So that didn't happen. So this is officially the first vlog of 2022. Happy New Year's, you guys. How's everybody doing? Me, I started off the New Year's with COVID. I'm feeling much better now. Y'all, when I say I knew I had COVID, I knew I had COVID. But I'm going to get into that when I jump into these errands. Honestly, I don't even think I have to run errands. I, I'm i going to clean my car. So that's, that's where we're starting. I have to clean my car. And I'm pretty sure when I get in the car and I'm going through things, I'm going to find more things that I have to do or things that I want to do. So... We're just going to say that this is an Aaron run. So this is probably going to be a pretty short vlog. I don't know if I'm going to go ahead and let it go over into tomorrow or if I'm just going to edit this, upload, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. I don't know what this year holds for my YouTube channel. But let me just go ahead and go because I'm going to waste more time and I'm going to end up getting back into bed. First things first. Get out of the way. I'm looking for my freaking Manfrotto tripod. But y'all, I have these cats running all over this house, driving me absolutely crazy. And I didn't put on anything. I literally slept in this tank top. I just threw on some jeans and my guest shoes, a cardigan. And watch how I actually, watch how I actually end up seeing somebody just like this. All right, let's see. This is ridiculous. Look at this trash look at it and then the junky ass back seat mia sits over here darion sits over here and then more disgusting trash it's 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 pretty bad there's food and everything down there and i just need to clean now was my car always this junky of course not of course not so what happened was i ended up and I really hope that you guys can see me. I had eye surgery in December and I low key still can't see. Apparently I'm supposed to be able to see at this point, but I cannot. I don't think they believe me, but whatever. So um, yeah, as soon as I had my surgery on the 20th, we hopped on a road. We drove 15 plus hours to get to Iowa. Literally that same day, right after my surgery, we hopped on a road. I was going to see my family these past holidays. It's been a few years since I've been able to make it back home and I wasn't letting anything get in the way this, well, last year. So I did that. We drove out there. We did a lot of driving around out there. Of course, that comes with a bunch of stopping off for food, packing up snacks, clothes, like just, just everything, right? Then we drove 15 hours back only for me to end up with COVID. It, 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 I, sh I should have had a few days to clean my car, but to be completely honest, we left all the suitcases and stuff in here for like two or three days afterwards. Driving back and forth to my second job because I was still on leave. Um, then I found out I have COVID, so it's not like I was able to go and do anything. It just no, it's like almost a month's worth of nonsense in this car. And there's food in this car as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, hold on, I'm to... Honestly, I don't even know where to put this garbage because both of my trash cans are full. I'm about to just get a big trash bag, put most of this garbage. Okay, I'm gonna get two trash bags just in case. I don't wanna do this. <laughs> All right. Got a trash bag, let me close this. And I'm gonna turn this car. It's still kinda chilly out here right now. And I have the audacity to not have on real clothes like I wasn't just really sick. I don't learn. A 
bunch of stuff in here. This is ridiculous. This shouldn't be a thing right now. Ooh, what's this? Oh. So this is one of my favorite perfumes. I don't even know if you can see that. This is one of my favorite perfumes. And I ended up breaking the top off and I can't figure out, like there's so much, and this wasn't cheap either. And there's so much perfume still in there that I don't wanna just get rid of it. So I'm trying to figure out how to use it. Put it over there, here. There's not a reason I let my car get like this, but y'all, when I say COVID, having COVID, not being able to see, that was just taking me out. Like, it just took me out completely. And you know what, what's crazy though, with COVID, um, with me getting COVID, I think, so, when I came back from Iowa, all of us were sick. Me, Angel, the kids, we were all like, My car just did something really weird. Side note, I know I'm all over the place. So my car is very unreliable, okay? It's very unreliable. I mean, I love my car, but it's very unreliable. There's so many things wrong with it. It's not the cutest thing on the road, but <laughs> it's rocking with me. That's besides the point. Anyway, so when we got back from Iowa, all of us was sick. I'm talking like sick for me. I felt like death was imminent. I felt like I was literally dying. Like I was super dizzy. I could barely breathe. Like, well, I could breathe, but it felt like I was having trouble breathing. Um, my body was hurting so bad. When I say those, I've never felt body aches like that in my entire life like I could not believe how sick I felt like touching my scalp hurt I had the worst headaches touching my body hurts I it, I, I would tell people I literally wish I was able to levitate because even rolling over on my sheets was hurting my body moving was hurting my body breathing even hurt and then I just felt really really sluggish I felt really weak and we're just out I'm talking we're just out Mia she just had like a runny nose a cough so sneezes um you can tell she was a little sick but of course she's younger she's a kid so she was still up and playing around and stuff like that darion was like me he was out he was just as sick as can be angel same way we're just so sick and i was really thinking to myself i'm like this could be covid like i could i I might have COVID. So Monday I ended up going in anyway because I had a doctor's appointment. And then that's when I asked them about like my symptoms and stuff like that. And they gave me a test. Those test results came back almost immediately. Honestly, they were immediately like literally like a few hours after I got home. Um, and I wasn't out that long. And it said that it was negative. I was negative, there was nothing there. Cool. So comes Tuesday and Wednesday I'm just chilling because they ended up giving me a few extra days for my eyes so I didn't have to go back to work for those few days so I'm like all right you know this is cool hopefully my eyes adjust and everything because when I say y'all working those three days that was an easy two racks I was not going to miss that I wasn't trying to miss that for, for no eyesight oh no I was gonna miss that for no eyesight I worked four hours Thursday 16 hours Friday 12 hours that Saturday now after my shift is when I usually um, sanitize my station for the next nurse to come in or whatever and so as I'm sanitizing my little area I'm trying to finish up charting I have this lotion that I put on and do I have one in here I don't even have one in here but the lotion I use it's a really strong lotion you cannot miss this scent and I love it it's like a citrusy strong scent it, it's really nice it's a really nice lotion so I'm putting this lotion on and I wasn't really paying attention but when I started to pay attention I'm like can't smell this lotion and good thing I had on the mask because a few of the residents ended up getting COVID so it was mandatory that we wore our N95 mask so at least I had on a, a, a better mask than just you know a hospital grade mask I, I think what happened is I ended up taking off my mask to eat some food because y'all Chipotle yes and 
I, I go get my lunch but usually I don't have time to eat my lunch until like the last 30 minutes of my shift because it's just crazy while I'm charting so I'll eat while I'm charting and my food just tastes really really salty and it was just so weird I eat the same thing every time I'm at this location and it just did not taste the same. It wasn't good, it was just really salty. I could, couldn't really smell it, which was really weird and I didn't pay attention. But while I'm sanitizing, I'm putting, I'm rubbing in my lotion and I couldn't smell my lotion. And that's when I'm like, all red flags went up. I'm thinking to myself, I, I can't smell my lotion, okay. So I go in my bag and I'm digging out another lotion because I have another lavender lotion that you can't miss. It's, it smells beautiful, it's like, lavender and vanilla or something like that it smells really good rubbing this lotion in I can't smell a thing at this point I am I'm my, I lost my appetite I can't even eat right now I'm walking around sniffing the hand sanitizer putting all kind of stuff on my hands picking up all kind of stuff smelling it the only thing I can smell with the hand sanitizer was the fumes well not even smell it I can sense the fumes and nothing else I was just like Fuck. I'm pretty sure I have COVID at this point so I go into the little, our little, um, our room where we have our extra medicines and, and tests and all that stuff. And I give myself, <laughs> cause I was, I wanted to be sure before I sound the alarm or whatever. So I gave myself a test first. It's one of those rapid tests. I gave myself a test and it came back positive. And I'm just like, okay, all right. How is this? Because I, I, di I didn't have it when I just got tested, you know, when I went to the hospital, but now, okay, so I go to my uh, charge nurse and I'm like, hey, can you give me a COVID test really quick? Just so I can double check, I test myself, it came back positive, I think I have COVID. So, and I love this lady. <laughs> I love this lady so much. So she swabs me. Um, and the only reason why I went is because after the the only reason I went anywhere, because one, my symptoms and stuff and being as sick as I was, I was over that. Like I didn't feel sick or anything like that anymore. And I got a negative COVID test. That's the only reason I went out and I'm about and around other people, right? So she gives me the swab. It comes back positive. She She's so dramatic. She looks at me, she goes, Oh my God, I cannot believe this. It was just so dramatic. And I'm just like, oh my God. <laughs> anyway, it wasn't funny, but her reaction was funny. Like it was, it like, it wasn't, it wasn't a, a big deal, but it was a big deal. So at that point, every last LPN, CNA in there, we're all are in everybody. Everybody, we're just testing just to make sure. Because again, if I wouldn't have, you know put that lotion on I wouldn't have even known because at that point I'm feeling fine I feel okay I just realized I couldn't smell anything so yeah I ended up going home um, and there was it was literally the end of my shift I ended up going home uh, sent out a message just to check on my soldiers just to see if they were feeling sick at all um, if anybody felt anything they were going to be going to sick call comes that Monday because I think this was a Sunday when I sent out the message I still had to go into the hospital though that's the part that really got me is I still went into the hospital because I had to get tested with the army so basically if you get tested anywhere off post, I don't know if it's just a Fort Bragg thing, but if you get tested for COVID anywhere off post and it comes up positive and you take that positive information to like whoever and say, hey, I have COVID, um, I have to quarantine according to CDC or whatever. Okay, cool. No, that doesn't work. Your COVID isn't real until it's on army paperwork and so the army says that you have COVID you don't have COVID. And so that's pretty much what happened. I ended up going into the hospital. Um, it was a ridiculous wait to the point. I was just gonna be like, forget it. I'ma just, if they don't let me quarantine, they don't let me quarantine. But there was no way I was about to stand in a line for two and a half hours exposing more people. I mean, it made absolute no sense to me because at the point I already know that I have it, you know? So I ended up calling and I'm like, hey, this is the situation. I know for a fact that I have it. I already tested positive for it. What sense does it make that I'm being sent back and forth here and there in the hospital knowing I have COVID? You know, it's not like I have an N95 mask just laying around to wear. I'm have, I am have on a regular mask. Um, 
do you want me to keep walking around or are you gonna let me do what I need to do to get quarantined or whatever? So they finally told me to come back um, to like the urgent care area. When I got there, let somebody know, that way they can come and meet me and then I went through the whole getting the test done with them. Came back positive. With the army, the way they're still doing it is they're still doing the 10 days. Even though the CDC says you're good to go after five days, they're still doing 10 days. That's the only reason why I'm still out of work technically right now. So yeah anyway that was my covid story i completely got sidetracked it i'm supposed to be cleaning my freaking car jeez y'all be distracting me Didn't even need these. Why don't see? This is the random nonsense that I buy at stores. I'm gonna keep them though. Oh, good, good. There was just water in here. Sometimes there's things that don't smell too good. sweaty right now it makes no sense I had to go back to using regular deodorant I have so much natural like deodorants but I won't lie sometimes it do not work for me I don't know if it worked for y'all let me know yeah I just finished taking the stuff in a car taking I just finished taking the stuff in the house taking Amia's car seat in the house and all that stuff so the car is kind of bare I really should find something to do with this stuff too no, it's fine. Um, so now I'm about to head over. Oh, freak. My eyes, I can't see. <laughs> I can't see. Um, yes, so I'm about to go ahead and head over here to this car wash, see if they're still open, clean my car, and maybe get a Thai tea. I'm hoping this restaurant is open because I really, really, really want a Thai tea and maybe even some rice. So, that too. Goddamn car wash is closed. Why is the car wash closed? It's Monday. Are they closed on Mondays? Whatever. I'm about to grab me some fries. Let's get some fries. And then go and see about this Thai tea. Maybe on the way I'll be able to find another car wash hi can I just have a large fry with extra seasoning please a large fry with extra seasoning yes that'll be all thank you hello hi ah, it's so loud wait a second Yeah, I'm still out running errands. I'm still doing stuff. <laughs> no, just call me after your training. All right. Thank you. Yeah, in about an hour or so. Yeah. All right, bye. Jeez. Okay. So, real quick, another thing about my luxurious car. Udo's fries smell so good. I don't know why my window started making this noise. It was out of nowhere and it's when I roll it down. And when I roll it up. <laughs> and it's obnoxious. I don't even know if the camera's doing it any justice, but it's 
it's it's it's a sound to be heard it's horrible when it rains it doesn't make the noise so that's fine i don't know i don't know okay my baby my very crappy unreliable baby it's okay it's okay but y'all the other thing is i have my airpods and i hang them on my freaking keychain y'all why i only have one airpod because when i was back in iowa i went to change my headlight in my car and one of them fell out of my ear and i was able to see it at the bottom of my car but i wasn't able to get it out so now i have to go and get a new pair of airpods so far the ones doing me it's the i'm rocking with the one right now because as we know those things aren't cheap i don't want to keep this is going to be the third pair i've had to buy in the past year okay my irresponsible ass obviously don't need them right right I got four. <laughs> I got four tiny seats. Understand, though, that it's it's so worth it. Okay, what am I smelling? It smells like. No, is it this? Maybe it's this. It smells really good. I bought this. Um, what is it? It's a fab. It's a fab fabric. I bought a fab fabric softener. What the fuck can I say that word? I bought a fabric softener, and it's super good. It smells really good. Okay, I'm gonna drink this one. What is that? What's that noise? Um, I'm gonna sit this over here. I'm so glad I have a lot of cup holders in this freaking car but i bought this it's like um a baby scent fabric softener and it smells so good and i'm smelling it right now but i'm gonna tell you right now everything that i have on have not been in a washer in like the past week so i don't know why i smell like that oh my god oh uh-uh Wait a second, that is not in the cup holder. Ah, jeez. There we go. There we go. So what's next? I need, um, I need to make something for dinner. We did not eat breakfast today. We did not eat lunch because y'all, when I say I was laying there, why is this leaking? Okay. Let me figure this out. Um, let's see. Ow! What? What? Okay. Okay. Jeez. Anyway. Oh, I can go. I can go. I'm going. I'm going. So. Yeah, today I just laid there. I wanna say I did not get up until about two o'clock because I just couldn't. But um, now I wanna listen to my music on this drive back. I didn't catch as much traffic. Wait, hold on, let me get over this hill because I'm about to say, oh, I didn't catch any traffic, but I'll see if I get over this hill. Nope, I hit traffic. That's just great. I'll see y'all when I get home and figure out what I'm cooking for dinner. Ooh, I'm cold. Change of plans on a dinner plans. I might still make me a late night omelet at some point, but apparently everybody else wants to try those wings from Taco Bell. So I'm about to go to Taco Bell and see if they have these wings. They're not they're not selling chicken. So I got a chicken quesadilla, I got two steak quesadillas, four soft shell tacos. Should I get something else? I can stop at me. You got two quesadillas? This, I got two steak quesadillas and a chicken quesadilla. Did you want me to add another chicken quesadilla? Um, that is, 
Yeah, I, I kind of want a um, crunchy taco. They don't, a crunch, okay, I think they do got those. She said something, they not selling, I don't know, they got a lot going on, I don't got time. I'm trying to figure out if I want KFC. Ooh, that chicken from KFC be good. Alright, I'm about to get another, ask Darion if you want some tacos or if you want some chicken from KFC. You want some tacos or you want some chicken from KFC? KFC. He said you want KFC. Okay. 25, 28 is your total. Can I take off two of those tacos? And you want to, you want to be to add the crunchy tacos? Yeah, I want, um, I want the nacho cheese taco. The crunchy chips. Do you have nacho cheese tacos? I'm sorry? Do you have nacho the cheese Doritos. tacos? I guess the Dorito, the Dorito taco. Dorito Lucas tacos? Yeah. We don't need something. Tuna take two tacos off. But you, you want to replace it with the Dorito Lucas tacos. Didn't I tell you it's a lot going on here? You about to get these hard tacos. Two of the soft and two of the the other one. <laughs> Okay. okay, and that's it. Twenty-seven dollars even is your total. Okay. And can I add on some hot sauce? We only have Diablo sauce. She'll take. She'll take that. She'll okay. take that. You won't get this damn Diablo sauce. They got Diablo sauce. Yeah. Um. All right. <laughs> Be right out, man. Thank you. I cannot believe you're Y'all, yeah, it's so much going on. I can't. I didn't even know this camera was still rolling. I don't even know. Thank you, you as well. Something in me want to check this. This window. Let me pull over because I feel like I got to check this. You as well, thank you. Shit. I be forgetting that freaking window does that. Let me see. Y'all, I keep looking at these shifts and I keep telling myself I'm not booking shifts for next weekend i'm not booking shifts for next weekend i'm going to savannah i'm going to have fun i'm going to have fun i'm going to have fun this coming weekend i'm going to have fun this coming weekend okay i'm not booking any shifts i need to stop working so damn much i work way too much it's later i haven't gotten in the shower yet i won't even lie i don't feel like it i am because i have to wash my hair but i don't feel like it i just been doing too much today I just been doing too much today but I'm about to go ahead and close this vlog out here I'm not sure how long it's gonna be I just don't have much more to do tonight other than sit here watch Bob's Burgers I'm working on my third Thai tea I was really trying to save this into the morning because I wanted to drink it while I drove to my two and a half hour away appointment to get my braces removes finally so i'm super excited about that but no i want my tai tea tonight right now and i'm also about to steam my face i got this cute little steamer here i got this from walmart i'm surprised i didn't get it from burlington i get everything else from burlington but yeah i'm just waiting for that to heat up get ready so i can go ahead and steam my face because when i say i really haven't been doing much to my skin and it has been doing so good like i'm so proud of my skin my hair i'm just i'm glowing i'm gonna go ahead and close it out now if you have any comments concerns make sure you leave those down below don't forget to like this video it helps with the algorithm and also subscribe that's my goal for this year for my youtube channel is to have 10k subscribers i feel like that's pretty realistic um especially if i go ahead and become consistent like i used to be i was growing like crazy and then life got in the way and I kind of stopped but if you want to help with my goal um subscribe it doesn't hurt I mean you know 
we have a good time here but yeah i'm about to finish watching bob's burgers and i might start a new vlog tomorrow about my braces i'm gonna start a new vlog tomorrow about my braces all right bye